All right, Big Mang, today is Thursday. It's June 8th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. Today, my guest is a guy who I've been trying to land since 2019. And this motherfucker finally pulled up. He works for Barstool, so it should have been easy. But of course, he made it hard on me, like he does with many things at this company. Uh, welcome to the show, All Business Pete. It's only episode 1000 and, you know, 50 something, 100 and something. Un- unfair. We'll start there. Why is that unfair? You just walk in like, and you're like, hey, can you do this right now? And it's like, eh, no, I'm busy. I got I got stuff to do. Because I gave up on you. I tried to even no. have you on a draft. I said, hey, I Pete, don't want to do a draft. I don't know. I'm not I'm not up on pop culture. I'm not up on anything. We try to draft nerds. But even so. Nerds are what you're gonna you're gonna pick nerds from TV shows and movies and like whatever right you're not gonna yeah. pick like the the uh, the valedictorian from whatever you could draft Doc me. Brown from Back to the Future don't tip picks shall I yeah well, well you've already done it did you do it yeah to call Robbie Fox out of the pen <laughs> yeah I think, King nerd I think it's supposed to be both of you yeah but. he's the right he's the right choice for that he's the right choice yeah. All right, hey, before we really get into it, though, I do want to talk about Sail GP. Sail GP is like F1 or NASCAR, but instead of cars, it's flying sailboats. The high-tech, high-speed action that features the sport's best athletes racing at speeds over 60 miles per hour on water in short, intense races. Sail GP Season 4 is comprised of 12 global events with the season kickoff event in Chicago at Navy Pier, Friday, June 16th, and Saturday, June 17th, two action-packed days as nine world-class teams battle in intense rivalries and incredible action. Make sure these plans make it out of the group chat. Come for the party at Navy Pier and stay for the racing action to watch all the thrill, drama, and speed of F1 on the water. F1 on the water sounds pretty sweet. We're going to be there next Friday. The 16th. Come on out. Navy Pier. What do you got to do? It's it's a summer day, a summer event. Uh, Chief went last year. He's like, this is genuinely sweet. I'm happy that Sail GP hopped on with this. This isn't just like an advertising thing where it's like, yeah, go to this thing we don't really want to go to. But we're genuinely excited. You should be excited too. So come on out. Get tickets to see Sail GP at Navy Pier on June 16th and 17th by visiting sailgp.com slash Chicago. And uh, we'll see you out there next weekend um pete how are you good yeah good yeah what's the stress good. levels one through ten? Seven, seven, eight, i suppose is that where it sits or just because we got a live dozen show tonight is that why? no i'm not even i'm not too worried i don't want to say that but i'm not too worried about the live dozen <laughs> okay. we've done we've done dozens live and then we did the live dozen true live at the super bowl and i feel good you can always get fucked by something but i feel good about it that's true so for people that don't know what is your what, i don't even know what your title is anymore the head of head of media technology. I head think. of media technology, and you yeah. just started as like the tech guy, right? Yeah, they called it the crew chief or something. Crew chief, chief. head button pusher, I called it. Many people don't know you probably had one of the biggest ascension of anybody here in like five years. I would say, right? I I don't know. Don't I've been be around. Modest. I've been Let's, around. A, I've been around a while. You've been around, but you've cornered yourself into being like I'm the guy who knows shit. So you need Pete. And then, like, there you go. You're uh, you're sitting there with Erica and all the big wigs. I like to I like to think I get things done. I like to think I do a good job. I think you do too. I and would. So I continue to do things. Definitely, people have some issue, which I will bring up at some point. But um, we only have forty five minutes. I know this guy. He gives me a time crunch. He this guy's unbelievable. In five years. You think that there would be a little bit more relaxed rules here? Um, how did you How did you get in? Dave, uh, Dave wrote a blog when they were moving, when they were moving to New York, when Sharon bought and it was, uh, like m- mid 2016, Dave wrote a blog and he's like, Hey, we're building the studios. We need somebody to, to kind of run it. Essentially. You had to email the intern and I did that. <laughs> Who was the intern? Did you ever find that out? I, I, I don't know if I met him. It was Marcus. He was a Harvard student intern. Uh, and I think he wanted a lot of money when he graduated, and we were like, "Not, not here." <laughs> See you later. Yeah, I bet he's. I bet he's very successful now. I feel like I asked Erica about him recently, but yeah. I bet he's super successful. Yeah. Well, maybe we should have hired him. Uh, maybe. Maybe. All right. So that's how you got on, and yeah. you were the original tech. So when we had those little two pocket studios yeah. in HQ two, you were the guy where it's like, "All right, we got to make sure this shit runs." And then, like, what a year later, they're like, "Can this?" Do serious radio? 
right? Uh, no, it was two. It was two, three months later. Oh, really? It was yeah. that fast? We launched. We had the big one was a radio. The little one was a podcast with the tiny, tiny control room in the middle. But we launched Sirius the 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 show Barstool Radio, not the channel. I think on on like January first, twenty seventeen. Which was we opened the office on in like early September 2016, so three three four months later. Very fast. Yeah, and that's when it was just a, a sh one show though, right? Just the two. I think it was two hours, noon to two, Barstool Radio. Yeah. On I forget what we were. It was on like the MMA channel, right? It was on the MMA, yeah, channel, the right? MMA yeah, channel. Yeah. yeah. That's um, right. And that's just ascended into so many things. I mean, I guess Rough and Rowdy was already kind of there before you got here, right? No, Rough and Rowdy started. Uh, that was the first one was March 2017. Um, I think we could say his name, but it was Tex. Yeah. Uh, he wanted to fight. He was like, he, you know, this is what he wanted to do. And Dave had known about Rough and Rowdy. He did the video in West Virginia, and I don't know when. Uh, and he's like, well, I know this boxing promotion. We can go do it. And so he was scheduled. And then like two weeks before before we started that, he was like, what if we did a pay per view? And we we're like, all right, let's give it a shot. He, Barcel hadn't purchased Rough and Rowdy at that point. No. No shit. I guess. That's like one of the couple years I don't remember as much. Yeah. Um, we came back from that March 2017, probably started negotiations, bought it by the end of the year, and did the first one at the end of 2017. Gotcha. Okay. And that's really been our first foot into live sports. Yeah, I would say so. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. What else? We started the, well, we started the Barstool College Football Show, I want to say, fall 2017. And that's like McAfee and like JSB on like lawn chairs yep. in front of like a... Frat houses. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it was like a war. That. It was war zones. Yeah, like it was, it was Iowa all the time. What was your experience before this? Like, well, how did you even know how to do this shit? I worked in uh, at TV stations for, I don't know, four, five, six years. Uh, it, one in Boston, Channel Seven in Boston, and New York one in New York, uh, and then went to like a digital media streaming outfit, I suppose. When di when streaming was like complicated and expensive like what i what i did was like had a bunch of physical encoders big data center doing a bunch of bunch of streams all the time and now you can do all that stuff for like six dollars a month gotcha. but at the time it required a lot we were doing masters we were doing nfl playoffs uh stuff like that okay so you're pretty well equipped to uh, yeah so it was, a, it was a decent uh bar stool at the time was a was a decent merge of my of my skills from production uh, and, and streaming and delivery and things like that. So it was a good, a good fit, I suppose. But honestly, looking back, like how old were you in it? When I came, yeah. when I came to Barstool, thir 32, 33. Were you seriously like that well-equipped to be the top guy at that point? We weren't doing anything. Yeah, but it, I guess it came fast though. Uh, yeah, but you, you think like I was just kept, you don't think that I drove it fast? That feels unfair. I'm not saying that. But I'm you know what I'm saying? Like, I do think I was well-equipped. I think everything we wanted to do, every bit of growth, everything that we were billing, like, I helped I helped out on. You 1,000% helped yeah. out on, but you know how things work here. It pretty much is like, oh, Dave, I want to do this. Pete, is it possible? Yeah. And then it goes from there. And then we go. Like, yeah, we it's not it. – I don't think it's reverse where it's like, hey, we should do Corn Ferry, right? That's a little more how it's gotten. But back in the day, it was like, hey, I want to do I want to do this. And I was like, all right, let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. Yeah. Let's and that's it. kind of been the motto from there. But let's figure it out. Yeah. Try not to say no. Try to figure it out. What have you said no to? I don't know if I say no to anything. Um, if there's something that's tough or a bad idea or uh, you try to come with you try to come with a, with another option, essentially. Which remote shoot is the toughest then? The toughest? Rough and Rowdy is the is the one with the most on the line because there's only four, and it's and it's pay per view. Um, so if you fuck it up, you just gotta give people a lot of money back. So that's the, the one that's always the most nerve wracking. Okay. Um, college college football, like finding all of the all of the locations, making sure you can fit everything, inviting you know six hundred sometimes drunk kids to throw stuff at you is, is nerve wracking. It's very, there's a lot going on. Yeah. There definitely is a lot going on at those. I've been to one. I've never been to a rough and rowdy. You should come. Yeah. They're very, I would like to be able to just go watch, but really? Yeah. They're very, time. they're very fun. Fun what's, person. What's been the biggest, uh, the biggest thing that's gone wrong? Like what, what, which, which event used to keep you up at night? 
They all keep me up. They still keep me up at night. Beforehand? What about like something? No, I don't sleep for like a week before a big event. I don't sleep. Really? Yeah. Still? Yeah. Wow. I think, well, actually the one, the one that was probably the, the worst was the, the Barstool uh, Invitational, the basketball game. Okay. Because we were responsible for the entire thing. This was a legitimate NCAA <laughs> men's basketball game. It counts in the standings. They're going to put the resumes up at the end. Like it was, it was a real men's basketball game yeah, that we yeah, were yeah. putting on. And so you had to do that. We were doing that. It was our first true live sports production. Um, it was, and it was, everything was our soup to nuts. And that's the only thing that we do that, that we fully own and control besides the rough and rowdy. But there was, how much of this is like third party, like this part, this part, this part, this part? Yeah, yeah. it's not like we just staff it. Nobody, nobody staffs it. ESPN doesn't staff all their own stuff. Yeah. So we do use outside vendors and producers and things to help. But ultimately, ultimately like you know, it's going to come partially down on me, but it's all, it's barstool, right? It's mm -hmm. like, it has to be barstool. It has to be fun. It has to be interesting. You could, we could go hire ESPN to put on a basketball game. They do it all the time. Yeah. But that's not what we're trying to do. Yeah, I mean, you're right because it's, Barcelona Sportsbook app goes down. It's not the uh, behind the scenes coders who are feeling the shit. It's Dave. Exactly. So, so that's 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 definitely something I understand. But what's something that has gone wrong? Like a college football show without sound. Um, <laughs> uh, a uh, that happened. Yeah, or a rough and rowdy that didn't was scrambled. Like, what is the worst error that has occurred? I'm trying. I'm trying to think. I think well, obviously the college football show no sound was was t tough. <laughs> that was the last one. I was not. There's contrary to popular belief. I was not at that one. No, stop. This is really? True. Yeah. So where were you when you got the news? Or were you oh, watching? I was, I was watching. I was in my living room, mm -hmm. walking back and forth, mm -hmm. saying "fuck" out loud all over and over <laughs> and over and over again. That's that's a live feed I want. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that was like that might be the worst. That's the worst one. I think so. Which one was it again? It was I. It was Iowa. Iowa. Yeah. And was that when McAfee was still around? Uh, yeah. Okay. It was him. It was. Well, I can't say he was on it because I remember we sent Trent. So I don't remember. It was maybe before. It was. It was the third episode of that of that season. So it was maybe before we hired JSP. So it okay. might have been Dave Trent and um, and McAfee. McAfee. Yeah. Gotcha. And no sound. And. Whole show, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. I was just staring at it like, surely they'll figure it out. <laughs> like, obviously, somebody knows and is doing something. Was there captions or anything? No, not no live caption, not a thing in 2017. I guess not. Yeah. Now, do you remember what Dave said afterwards? How did that conversation go afterwards? It, it was, I think it was, I mean, it was a lot of frustration because the other shows were like, you know, whatever. But I think it was basically like, look, either we're going to fucking fix this and do it or we're not going to do it. Like, there's no there's no point in, in just meandering through. Yeah. And then we fixed it. OK, so you got that you got that ship righted. What? Because that's it, it's it's funny to us. But obviously, do you I mean, knowing you, you're probably deeply like fucking worried about it. But the fucking Pete. When that those two words from Dave are <laughs> very funny in, in, in like every case, you know, when when the direct TV is not working on a stream or whatever. What's it like that's, from your that's perspective? That's actually probably the other biggest one. Well, when the TVs go down, the, when the TVs, case? yeah, when we when we put in the new TV system in the in the new in the New York office and it didn't work for Ohio State, Michigan. Yeah, it's tough. That was that was a tough one. Yeah, that's a tough one. Um so what's that, a fucking Pete like for me around? <clears throat> yeah, I mean nobody nobody likes it. I think you you work <laughs> you work hard to prevent it. I think yeah. everybody does. Yeah, but, you know, uh, that's that's what you do, and it's not necessarily you know whether it's a Dave thing, but you just don't want to fuck up. We're super public. Mm -hmm. Everybody everybody knows everything that's going on. Uh, they know every little thing, and you just that's what keeps you that's what keeps me up at night. That's what keeps me working hard. Is just trying to you try to make sure there's no problems. What's the biggest blowout you've had with Dave? I think Dave doesn't like that I don't really have blowouts. Yeah, that makes him more angry. <laughs> He'd rather you have like no to nose like, conflict. Or just flip out on somebody yes. and, and but I've I've found that remaining calm, thinking clearly and, and just kind of methodically trying to solve a situation is 
uh, is is better than just kind of going going crazy. But yeah, I, just... I you know I tend to I kind of talk to everybody the same way, which is just even keeled here. So facts here's what here's what we're gonna do. Yeah. yeah. So when when do you think he's been the most mad at you though? It's like take your pick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> The t- I think the most mad was the was the TVs for Ohio State Michigan. Yeah, yeah. Except I think Michigan got was getting the the doors blown off by halftime, and it gave them a good excuse to go home. And they just didn't work at all. They couldn't see anything. They were yeah. It was the distribution system. It wasn't the TVs. It was the distribution system. Mm-hmm. The switches were flooding, and it just wasn't happening. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> One of my we favorites. had to replace the switches the next. In the next couple of weeks, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. What's one your of, favorite, Eddie? One of my favorites was, and you remember this, I know you do, Super Bowl, Greek Town. We had that big. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's, but I wouldn't count that. Yes, because it wasn't your fault. Not only was it not my fault, it had nothing to do with it. Yes, that. I know. But this is a microcosm. Listen, I've been on the other end of shit that wasn't my fault, yeah, and I got the rest from fair. Dave, and I got the heat from the stoolies and shit. But yours, specifically, the sports book's down. We have a $50,000 contest on the line. Which, he, uh, for context, like I was, we were working on how do we show this? How, like it's, it, you start with $50,000 is whoever has the most money by the end wins, wins a bunch of money. Correct. We're figuring out how do we show it, like get the data in, put put the whatever. Yep. Like, so that, so that was tough. And it was Super Bowl. We were, I don't know where we were, but like we were, we were it was Super Bowl week and then we end up in Greektown. So, yes. and I was focused on that part and that part was in theory fine. Yes, exactly. So Until... You, until the book goes down, I mean, an hour before kickoff, maybe? Yeah, something like that. Half hour before kickoff. We're only live in Michigan at this point for maybe a month. It, maybe. Uh, maybe. But still, one of the biggest betting days of the year. Yep. It goes down. Yep. Dave's livid. Dave's fuming. Um, he's, he's motherfucking everyone, you know, whatever. And... <laughs> he turns around. Now I'm good. I'm, yeah. right, I'm ready. We're live. Like I'm like you just get you just start betting, and we're all gonna be good. Yeah. And then he turns around, and at the perfect point, Pete turned around too, and he had just taken a bite out of the floppiest piece of pizza Big, I've huge ever seen. Fucking floppy piece of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, "Fucking Pete, look at him just eating this pizza. He's got no care in the fucking world." <laughs> <And> <laughs> It was perfect. It was perfect. And I remember talking to you after. Like, yeah, it was tough. Like, he had to catch you right when you took that bite. You know, look, look, make it look like you're not doing anything. You're just eating pizza. Yeah. And you're like, that's the But first. I remember we got to where I got where I needed to get. Nobody was betting, so took a break, trying to get a little nice piece of pizza. But that's sometimes you get caught. And I remember you saying, that's the first thing you ate all day. Yeah, probably. <laughs> And the Super Bowls are like 6.30 at night. That was the first thing. Yeah, it was, yeah. it's legit 6.30 pieces. And I can't even describe to you guys in words how floppy this thing was. Like, he had it coming down. Like, you had that I think it was yeah. loaded up with, like, sausage, pepper, like, everything. Oh, loaded. And it was just weighted down. Yeah, and- it was like a roller coaster just coming down into your mouth, dude. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. so fucking funny. <clears throat> fucking Pete shoving his face without a fucking care in the world. Yeah, that was that's great. one. Yeah, that was great. Sorry. Glad you enjoyed it. Sorry. Well, you enjoy it when we get shit on, too. I do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's both ways. Hey, one more time here. I want to talk about HelloFresh. This summer, HelloFresh is here to take the work out of eating well, reach your goals with delicious calorie smart and protein smart lunch and dinner options, plus vegan recipes, too. Listen, everyone knows the deal with HelloFresh by now. If you've listened to a podcast, you've definitely heard us talk about them or really any podcast anywhere. They're a big podcast advertiser. And it's for a reason. It's because people really like them. They do a great job. You get a box shipped right to your door. Uh, You can get however many meals you want a day. And uh, they give you the correct amount of ingredients. So you're not throwing stuff around. You're not just guessing. They, They do it all for you. So this summer, spend less time meal prepping. Meal planning and prepping with HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients that make it easier to cook and uh, make cooking quick, all right? We all love HelloFresh when they sent me the meals. It was kind of just fun to not, you know, I didn't just have my eyes closed. I had a guide right in front of me. I knew what I was doing. And besides the easiness and hassle, hassle-free uh, delivery and everything that they do, it tastes delicious. So go to HelloFresh.com slash Chicago 16. Use code Chicago 16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Chicago 16. Use code Chicago 16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Go check it out. All right, let's continue on. Um, 
However, though, on the positive side, he has said before, I think on the the show I did with him, DP show, that you were one of the most important hires that he's made. Uh, yep. He did say that. Remember that? I, yep. I, I, I was, I had a, you know, I had a hand in that conversation. Appreciate that. What happened to the Dave Portnoy show? <laughs> so you want to get into I, it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. People are upset. They are like, yeah, yeah, get into it. But you've said it. <laughs> yeah, I've said it a million times. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, he's just, he's, he's living the Dave life in Miami. Yeah, I it's, don't know. Yeah, if it would have, it would have made it much longer, no matter what. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And he deserves it. He's earned it. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. He just, you know. He's not to the point where he just cares about any shit like this. Yeah. And rightfully so, yeah. like we said. Um, but, yeah, he did say that. He did say that. He did say it. I heard it. Mm-hmm. How would you feel about that? He doesn't throw what, he, he doesn't throw those around willy-nilly. Um, yeah. Yeah. I uh, – well, yeah, I agree. What can I say? <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree. That's such a tech guy answer. Um. What are you most proud of that we've been able to do? Um, I, I don't know. I think the growth, maybe. Like just like the fact that we were able to do that? That we go from, that we've gone from the two podcast studios in the closet to a, a 40, 50,000 square feet in New York. The brands that we, that have grown and like I yeah, obviously I don't do it's like barstool right it's just we've go we would just keep grow 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 and do more and more and more we don't sit still um, and and we've gone from you know the, what the college football show no sound in the beginning to something that's competing with game day uh, getting into into live sports broadcasting which I think nobody thought we would do just all of, like all of that constantly pushing the envelope and moving forward yeah so just everything really getting a bigger tech space. Getting like shit yeah. like that, probably when you got taken more serious, like, hey, I need a whole room with all these towers and a uh, ventilation system that's going to take care of these, like little wins like that, I'm sure were very rewarding. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I and then know. and doing doing the new office, doing 40,000 square feet out here. Yeah. We're, we're going to get into that. Yeah. That's fantastic. What are, what do you think our biggest weaknesses when it comes to tech or anything, really? Pl- planning. Yeah. Yeah. We don't we don't plan too far ahead, but it, it's good it's good and bad because mm-hmm. nothing stops us. We don't sit here and say, "Oh, we got to talk about this for two three months. We're just going to do it in two weeks." Yeah, but the but there, I'd say that's the weakness. That's the biggest weakness. So, yeah. but isn't that on a tech end? You just wish you had more time to know about stuff so you you could get things ready a little bit because planning is on you. You're the uh, fucking guy. No, because I'm not going to decide what we're doing or when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're like, hey. Yeah, we, I don't sit there. I don't sit on my hands until two days before and then be like, oh, I should really think about this. Yeah, so I'll give you an example, maybe a fake example. I don't know if this has ever happened or not, but something like, like, hey, we might. No, no, no. But like, hey, we might do a stream out of the bar in Arizona. Can you check if it's whatever? And maybe you'll fly out there, get it all ready. And then like, hey, we don't do or we don't do it or we change the location. Something like that, I would say. Yeah. It's very barstool. Yeah. Are we having a party? Are we having a super party? Uh, you don't know until the last minute. Yeah. That's a good example. I suppose. Well, fucking correct me if you suppose. No, I think that's a good that's a good a good example. Thank you. Um, who has the most laptop issues at Barstool? <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't think that's it's anybody. The thing that bothers me most about the laptops is the sheer volume of people that just spill water all over. Them. That's what I'm saying. Like, who has contacted the but, most with water spills? I, I it, the the crazy thing is, it's just like three a week. It's just constant. There's that many people spilling yes. water? Yes. What's the protocol on that? I just give them a loan or ship it out, get repaired. That's it? Yeah. It's a, but it's just a, it like just annoying. So who's the, who's the, who does it the most? But the, I don't know. I you, don't know. Nobody hits your... Nobody's... Cause who has contacted the most spilling equipment water, issues? Imagine spilling water on your laptop like five times a year. It's crazy. But everybody's doing it all the time. And there's Once. nobody in specific. I want to, you know, I want to get some names here. No, there was a time when Dana was just breaking computers <laughs> left and right. I don't think that would surprise anybody. At one point, I handed him like a, like a new computer. He gave me the loaner back. He threw like a USB-C to HDMI dongle. Like he tried to like throw it onto his desk, bounced, cracked the screen. Really? Shut it. And then he just handed it to me and I handed the loaner right back to him. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Just on the same day. Oh, fucking That Dana. was a fun one. Um, no. What is actually wrong with the Wi-Fi? It's fixed. I don't know if that's true. 
ask around. What was wrong with it? Just capacity, I think. Cheap, cheap uh, access points. Well, who's that on? Me. It's not like it's on you. Yeah. Yeah. I never said it wasn't. Yeah. I said I fixed it though. I think that I was just there two weeks ago. Yeah. It's been fixed since then. No, it's, it was fixed. What was it? What problems were you having two weeks ago? Uh, Rico was having problems. No, no, no. What problems were you having? Personally, none. Great. Yeah. Was well, then what was he doing wrong? I don't know. That's the other problem is people people just, think that it's a global issue. You're doing something wrong. Maybe there's a problem with your computer. Maybe there's something there. So like, they're and that's it why up. when people go, oh, it's, I'm like, T- tell me, talk to me like a human being, and maybe you're having a problem that I can fix for you. Yeah. <laughs> so you're. So that's corrected. Yeah, I would. This is tough. This is a situation where I works. I wish I had more experience there because I'd be able to. How's the Wi-Fi here, Eddie? Good. Great. We've never had issues. Great. Yeah, but our love office to, is also four thousand square feet. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot smaller. Yeah. A lot smaller. A lot less people. Yep. A lot until less now. Until now, dude. It's yeah. fucking. It's erupting. Dude. I was. It's just walking in. It's like a spider. Oh, hey, what's going on? Yeah, and I, we were saying this on the podcast yesterday. People don't realize. Like it gives off big vibes. It's not that big. No, but you do have. We, there's, there's some decent. There's room for growth here. There's you room. You do for, have to go sit, work on the couch. You have to work at the bar. You have to work like wherever. There's not a lot of desks. But, yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're right about that. And it's only for a couple more months. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, um, it's actually great. I, like it's you know you're like oh, how's it gonna be like but having more people here it's it's oh, nice. It's, all, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be good for everybody. It's way better. Yeah, way better. Do you um. Let's get into the new office then. So you're like in charge of the whole build, right? You and Hank? Yeah. What I've seen the space. We mm-hmm. went on a bunch of tours. And I mean, this thing is a monster. Yeah. It's perfect. Perfect for us. I can't think of another. You you saw, you did like the dozen, that, the first trip. Yeah. There was nothing else. Me and, we, me and you probably saw 18 places maybe. Yeah. 18 places we toured. Um, there was one other one. I don't think it would have worked. And I, I dis- stand I, and I stand by it. I disagree I, completely. Do you st- at this point, looking at what we have now, do you think that that would be better than this, or do you think that this ultimately was the best one? I think that would have been better. Really? Yeah, I do. Interesting. I do. I do think that would have been better. Not to say, well, <laughs> I don't. No. I'm going to see the finished product now. Um, well, whenever it's done. Yeah. And then maybe I'm just not visualizing it yet. I think when you when you see what we've done under under that maze. What we're able to do with that by level, I think is going to be, we wouldn't be able to do that at the other place. And we have the, the capacity now. Yeah. There you go. Now what is, um, share some plans. What's going on currently? What are they working on currently? Yeah. Uh, I think they should be starting framing. They're doing some roof work for the, uh, for the heating cooling units. We're bringing in the internet lines. Uh, and they're doing like tren- trenching and and uh, for the electric and plumbing. Okay, so we're still our, pretty we're still pretty early. Yeah. Okay. We're three mo- three months to open. What is all on the docket? What is planned? What's coming? What does that mean? Like what? The basketball court is a real thing, correct? Very real thing. Okay. Yep. Full court. Excited about it. I think it's a couple inches shy. There's a couple of uh, pillars on either side that that maybe took it down, or either that, or we just did like a junior high. I forget. Okay. But, but yeah, it it's is, not, it, I think if you really measured it out to an NBA, it, it would f- come up a couple inches short. But two hoops on both sides? Yeah. Both ends? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Somebody thought there was only one. I was like, it's crazy. Really? Yeah. Why are you going to do a full court with one hoop? Yeah, that'd be wild. You probably started that rumor now. Probably will. Me? About it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. I'll fucking start some rumors. <laughs> don't, don't count me out on that. Yeah. Um, golf simulator? Yeah. That's in. Sauna? No. Could we, is it too late? It is too late. No, you sure? I had to put it, I had to emergency put a shower in because nobody, nobody really thought about that. Shower for the wet wheel? Yeah. Are you sure we're too, we can't fit a sauna in by the, by the uh, shower? Yeah, sure. Come on. What, what are you going to do? You're just going to sweat it out? That'd be great. Yeah, it would be great. The boys? We'll call it face, yeah. we'll call it face two. I know KB, Nick, and Donnie like a good Schwitz. I'm sure they do. I'm sure there's places in Chicago to get a nice. There is. We go yeah. to the bath, would you go to the bathhouse with me? Uh, I'm too busy. Oh, I'm not against it philosophically. That's bullshit. Yeah. Um, what else? I, I listed a few things. Yeah, more studio, bigger yak studio, bigger part of my take, uh, bigger gambling cave, seven TVs. Um, seven TVs? M- yep, more studios uh, for everybody. 
Why seven, not six? Dan, Dan wanted a, like a main screen. So oh. it's, it's one big boy in the middle. I like and, that. Uh, th- and threes on either side. I like so that So it's a like, lot. What, you know, bears, whatever, like that. that's the game we're watching. And I like you're keeping that. an eye on everything else. I like that. Yeah, he's a big brain. No, he is. He's yeah. a very big brain. Now, what does it look like? What is what? Is it, like? is it going to be kind of like what the cave is now? Uh, similar. I think I haven't looked at the at the actual uh, furniture and stuff. I know that's all anybody cares about. Those couches were terrible. Oh my god, were they terrible? Yeah, I mean they are terrible. Those couches, it's even on the streams, they like it appears uncomfortable. They are that bad. They are as bad yeah. as you think. Yep. There's so we're gonna get good couches. Yeah. Okay, who's is Big Cat testing them? I don't know. He could honestly. Pick out I haven't looked at them. I think we have a furniture meeting tomorrow. That's a that's a must. Um, is I it'd be cool like a like a college auditorium. That'd be like a nice not like a like a football meeting. We tried room. to do we tried to do bi level in the current one, which kind of works. Yeah. But we're also I think we're trying to do smaller, more passionate streams too. Yeah. You know, instead of twelve people on their phones. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. You hate the streams, don't you? We could Pete, there's pause. There's always room for improvement. Wow. What don't you like about the streams? I don't like to say mean things publicly. Publicly, only privately. Yeah, <laughs> I think. Um, I think we could we can make it more interesting. Maybe. Okay, how could we do that? Um, I don't know. Some sort, some games, some like pick tracking, whatever. I don't know. All right. We have some. We're working on stuff for the fall. All content, Pete. Yeah. Coming fall 2023. Yeah. Uh, Pete, what else? What am I missing here? That's going. You said yeah, all the stuff people don't like about me. I was waiting for the mean stuff. Who me? Yeah. You were like, oh, we'll get to the stuff that people don't like. Did I say that? Yeah, I feel. Oh, like I think it was just the Wi-Fi. <laughs> just the Wi-Fi. Yeah, I think it was just the Wi-Fi. That's your biggest. That, so there we go. That's your biggest con. And yeah. being, I know, Bat- you, you, Bat- and Rico, you and Rico used to have some beef. What? Yeah. News to me. Yeah. Well, yeah. didn't you? No. Yeah, I think you talked down to him one time. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'm not I'm trying to make, he wants to be the official scorer for the second annual Barcelona Invitational. That would be great. Or no, clock operator, sorry. That would be great. Yeah. That would be great. But I asked him to send me a resume. He hasn't done it yet. <laughs> I asked him to send me a resume for the last one. Oh, really? And he hasn't done it yet. Yeah. Oh, no so shit. We'll see. Rico, he'll get on that. Yeah. Um, any other cool toy that's coming there besides the court and the simulator? Nothing really. Pickleball. With it, well, we're gonna paint paint it for pickleball. Oh, like the court. Yeah, like we'll put uh, the yeah, we'll yeah, put the yeah, lines yeah, on it. Yeah, the lines yeah. on it. Yeah. Uh, I think there's a turf run, so people can get really hurt there. Oh God. Dude. Yeah. Just pushing sleds and shit. Yeah, and I think you know I think the big video studios will be good. I think when you when you look at all of that, the the amount of space uh, that will be there for for the ideas that people haven't even thought of. <laughs> I think are to be be very exciting. Like you've been to New York, you can't you can't do anything. If you can't fit it within twenty by twenty, then it's not happening. Yeah, it's like landlocked. Uh, yeah. Yes, it's very so, much landlocked. Yeah. Is it too late for me to put a bocce ball court in there? Uh, like, what's the? I feel like you could do it on the south end, south of the basketball court. All right, let's talk. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if I want. That's one of those things where sometimes you don't want to mix business and pleasure. Okay. You know, smart. Yeah, but maybe. Yeah. Are we maybe. in the league right now? Yeah, we're in a league. How we're doing? We're one and one. Yeah. I we've been on a downside. Do you do it with these guys or do you do it with outsiders? Just with my friends. For yeah. Now. yeah. Good. Yeah, things can be you better, I'll be honest yeah. with you. Yeah. It's one of those things where we, we started all right and then, you know, you overthink it. It's such a simple game, you overthink it, and then you start to suck, so we suck. Yeah. Now, you seen that one where the where the guy just drilled it between the two? Oh yeah. That's my favorite. People send me that all the time. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Um, what about oh White Sox Dave did did ask you for a spot to put his smoker because he wanted to do smoking content with oh he has big cat this he's like hey can you put us can you make us build a spot where we could put our smoker so me and chaps can do uh smoking meats content and big cat goes yeah we could give you a spot in the parking lot <laughs> they've asked for a concrete there's slab. i mean i don't want to i won't say but there's there's a good spot for it really yeah out back oh, no shit yeah are we gonna have a, a patio up top a roof deck i think it's under discussion we might have roof rights, but I don't think we we made a roof patio. That'd be fun. Because we took that that extra space. Oh really? Uh, yeah. That'd be awesome. That might have did. that. Nice little beer garden. Yeah. 
That'd be sick. Yep. No, um, no guests. We're not selling alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Whole thing. Um, there's nothing else you can give me on the office. What? Yeah, I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be great. Damn. I think it's it's really about like I said the the blank canvas for everything you guys want to do. That's the that's the fun of it. So if an idea does come up, there will be room for that. Yeah, I mean, I think Hank wants to bring back a version of uh, of stool streams. Okay. What so basketball games? Mm-hmm. Um, but again, you can do anything. You can put up your your tennis court. You can put volleyball up. You can do pickleball. It's just like yeah. you know, people love the love the bar stool competition. Yeah, I think I think we're under delivering on that. They do. No, I hear you. Do you think? I guess I guess we we could move on from the office. I think I've exhausted you on that. Do you, what's your what's your anything else like we didn't really get to here? That. Is a, that, this is, I mean, you have seven minutes left. I know. That's why I'm, this I'm, is all you have. What do you mean all I have? I, I feel I like we've covered a lot of topics yeah. here. Okay. I feel I, like I, we're doing I pretty good. I squeeze as much out of that fucking ketchup jar as I could. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, do you think, what, are what, you, yeah, all right. Yeah, do me. you have a real question or are you just filling time? No, I don't have like a specific question more so about something we didn't get to that you wanted to talk about. What was that? I don't know. Anything. Oh yes. Uh, well, I was just going to, going to talk to you. Yeah. How do you feel about about all these people coming? How do you feel about about sliding down the the power rankings? Listen, I talked to uh, I I talked about this on yesterday's show too. I don't listen. I know. I, I'm aware, but you 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 used to listen to the show. Which one? Dog walk. I listen to dog walk. Did you yeah. talk about it on dog walk? Yeah. It's, I mean, it came out today. So oh, okay. I know you listen. You always said that. Uh, I think. I, yeah. Maybe I wasn't paying attention since like the beginning. But honestly, it's been great. Like just the yeah. opportunity to pull different people onto your yeah. show and just chop it up with them is fucking awesome. Yeah, it really is awesome. And as far as the power ranking, like that's life. That's life. But you know what? You go down a couple of rungs. What is that? But an opportunity to climb back up. Yeah, and, and listen, iron sharpens iron. Is that what they say? Yeah, they do. Say Everyone's that. gonna raise their game for sure. I think it's great. I truly do. I know there's like a there's like a weird thought where it's like oh they're they're getting you know uh a certain way about their territory it's not it's not really it's not really like that no i think it's a huge opportunity great for, for all you guys yeah like everybody. everyone has seen it the opposite way it's like oh God, you know might be trouble it's like it's no nuts. don't you huge opportunity wouldn't you agree that it's the opposite yes they're like we have the most you guys to- now I feel like you, and this is no offense to you, but I feel like you got, it was like the kindergarten class. And it was like, what's Barstool Chicago doing today? And it's like, we all, we all do the same thing. Sure. Uh, and sure. now obviously with the, with the breadth of shows and everything that's going on, you guys all have an opportunity to, to a grow your show, right? Do more dog walk or like expand that content. But you guys can go on, on other shows and build new shows and, and make new combinations. Yeah. Like, dude, listen, you've seen what it's like for people to make content on an island here. And it's hard. Yeah. Like, it's hard not to be nobody in the Nobody does it. Yeah. Nobody, nobody, even in New York. Like, almost, I mean, I don't think anybody does it. Yeah. And I think, like, you know, for, for four years, five, I think we've done a fucking solid job. Yeah. You know, like people, like the shows, you see, you see our shit, you know, you know, you're aware. So I'm happy with how far that we've gotten. We may have gotten to an impasse, but now it's time to kind of keep elevating. So it's yep. going to be good. Yep. It's going to be good. Sincerely. So. All right, Pete. Thank you for doing this, actually. Because my pleasure. Is... I've been trying to do this for a long time. Yeah, yeah, right. Trying, trying, trying. is a. I'm is glad. A loose I'm word. glad I was able to get it done. It's a loose word, uh, but no, we appreciate you, Pete. You you do a lot here, so thank you. Try. All right, that's it, everybody. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Um, we'll see you all on Monday.